fine. I'll get the radio message. Tests have automated distress signal from live pod 12. Coordinates attached. Warning. Live pod has sucked beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. 250 meters down. <laughs> Only 250 meters? Hmm. Hmm. I'll put a pin in that. Okay. Um. Right. So, six. 400 meters west, northwest of life pod four. Let's head back to life pod four. Go over here. And everything's right again. Yep, yep. Uh, I just inked myself again. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, it's just it's just natural. You know, it it happens sometimes. You know, uh, 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 worms are not known for being able to control their ink pouches, uh, mostly because we don't typically have ink pouches. You know, the uh, the guy who put me in here, um, you know, they. they uh, they kind of stuck me in here, so I've just kind of been trying a couple, you know, aquatic polymorphing. And I gotta say, don't have very good practice. Um, in fact, very bad at it still. And, you know, these accidents happen. You know, sometimes you just ink yourself. And then you have to deal with the consequences. And the consequences are, uh, your water is full of ink, and you can't fucking see. Worm. Yes. With a Y. I am a Draconic Serpent, a Flightless Dragon, or simply a Worm. Although I do have a Worm on a String form. I, uh, you know... Going through the void has various effects, um, and sometimes dimension hopping, you know, is the only way to get back to this reality, and sometimes I can't, uh, shake off the dimensional energies, and I'm stuck in the form I take while there, and after passing through the string dimension, you know, that's just, uh, how I ended up for a while. Sometimes also when I get back from the void, uh, it causes all sorts of uh, shifting colors, but like, you know, the chaos, you know, it, it's, it's contagious, but like, it's, it's like only for highly magical beings like dragons. So it's like one of those weird things where like just being a normal person, um, you're actually pretty fucking safe. West. West, northwest. Wow, that is the complete opposite direction I thought they were, uh... Am I reading this right? Wow, yeah, that was the opposite fucking direction. That's not the radiation zone at all, it's the other... Man, fuck you, life pod. Six? Y'all suck at directions. Hmm. I do kind of want to clean up the little bubbles animation. I feel like I could do a lot better with it. Might be better if I like actually drew it and then animated it in live 2D. Kind of like how Glottal has do been doing some animation. But I feel like rather than making a little pixel air bubble and trying to do frame a couple frames of animation that way maybe um i should have put a fucking beacon so i could measure 400 meters fuck me oh is this it no way i like just accidentally <laughs> 
of all the timing. Hey, everything's coming up directly, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get that data box. Give me that giant USB. All right, we already got that. Integrating new PDA data. Cool beans. Lead, always nice. Ooh, we got some flares. Cool. We got an abandoned PDA. Cool. Integrating new PDA data. Um, are we missing anything else in here? I don't think we are. I think we are good to go. Can I actually... Hold on. Before I move, I want to use the laser cutter maybe to see if I can disassemble. No, I cannot disassemble for free materials. Noted. Let's try not to drown and go ahead and surface real quick. Can't believe you ended up right above it, math skills. Pure luck. Yeah. I meant to, like, I had an extra beacon. I meant to plant a beacon on Life Pod 4 so I could triangulate or just, like, measure things out. Okay. Um... Laser cutter didn't work, so let's put our bacon back on there. Also go ahead and eat our food and drink some water. Um, let, let us do save. Let's see what was on those PDAs right fast quick. to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. Oh, so no. what are you going to do? Fucking unruly passenger. This is not my expertise, but the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there. I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. Oh, I'll go. Man. That's so grim. They found one piece of lead. It just wasn't enough to make full radiation suits before they succumbed. Fuck. Recycle stuff. Don't don't worry about it. I want. I like uh, exploring on my own. There's there's plenty to find and muck around still. so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Oh my fucking god. Are you serious? The chuckle fuck pass. Oh my. <sighs> that poor crew member. Oh man. That's... Rest in pieces. And peace. Well, I'm already all the way out here. Let's go ahead and head back to SG-1 so I can plant a beacon on the other island. Someone effed up, always hated that guy and killed him. Yeah, that's, that's so rough. Like, what's worse, fucking getting stranded uh, alone or getting stranded with someone fucking who's completely dead weight and pretty much actively uh, sabotaging y'all's efforts? Like, bloody hell. So I remember it said there were multiple energy signatures. And I was wondering if there was another... Fuck you, crap. I have a flashlight this time! I think we're right there. 
faster. So I did want to poke around because I got I, I got lost and forgot the way to the Stargate. So I wasn't really able to explore, I think, the correct interior. I think this time I can poke around. Maybe get stranded with someone like that, there'll be food for one. I wouldn't recommend cannibalism because eating humans is very dangerous. Even if cooked. Something, something about the uh, stuff in the meat. Causes issue. I love the f the f I love the flying manta rays. They are awesome. All right, we need to head to the Stargate. Thank you, past me, for planting the bacon at the Stargate, so I don't muck around lost in the dang cave complex wondering where the hell it is wow pipe bomb so cool what happens if I ah! humans are terrible nutritionally in fact we're poisonous to one another uh, no, I can't as a murder oh okay yeah yeah that works Alright. Final chevron locked. Now the question is... What should I name this one? Should this just be like SG2? Or is there like another good handle for this one? So I'm saving Stargate Atlantis if I can find... There's probably going to be an underwater one. Because I think the the power I think it meant one of the data things mentioned the power source going underwater. No! Why did you make me ink again? You fool! There's water everywhere. All right, so we got SG two. Let's see if I can find another warp gate. At least it's been okay so far whenever it gives hints about things existing, them being accurate. And I don't, I don't feel like those planted places had power. I don't think they count for the purposes of multiple energy sources. But it could also, no, no, because the, the message was like on the island. Just like there I was wondering about what about straight down, but no, 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 no. We don't need a flashlight, it's pure daylight. Back to normal. This isn't normal. This is unnatural. Heinous, even. Dang, our flashlight's getting pretty darn low. Thankfully, we the, the stuff to make batteries is quite... Wonderful. And we can just harvest, uh, harvest a couple fistfuls of acid shrooms and make some old school batteries out of them. It certainly is interesting where the fabricator sits on a technological level because it's not a pure nano factory. If it were, we would just need to put in material for it to um, take apart and assemble in the appropriate way for whatever we wanted. Uh, but it is still able to synthesize a pretty crazy amount of stuff because, like, you know, it turns like these acid, these sulfuric and acid uh, mushrooms into. Uh, you know, batteries, but they're like a high-tech AAA battery or D, double D battery or something that we can plug into our high-tech flashlight thing. So it's like, it's like a half step between a nano factory oh. and like a, a 
normal thing. Can I crouch or is this nothing? I feel like there might be a cave complex to another work gate here. They, they make really good use of space in this place. Like, it's not very big, but it does feel very dense. They, they use the, the vertical the verticality pretty damn well to give it uh, size and space. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. This is why we explore. All right, let's see this Debussy log number three. Aftermath. Hold on. Aftermath? We're missing something. Did I miss one? Hold on. I want to see if I can find number two real quick before I read that. Unless it's going to do a like out of order sequence thing. Ooh. Ooh, we haven't seen this one. We haven't seen this one. Oh, something. I can scan something. Exterior grow bed. Ooh. Yes, because it's so different from an interior grow bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, buddy. New blueprint acquired. Ooh, those give a lot of hydration. So we'll eat those marble melons. And this potato. Because I can What's going on? Oh, it's a fucking crab. Where is it? Are you fucking inside the habitation? You son of a bugger. Multi-purpose room. All right. Okay, I think that's a PDA, and that's probably going to be number two. I'm wondering if there was, like, a fight amidst the crew persons. Yeah, blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Number th four. I am wrong. Huh? Interesting. Huh? Huh? Okay. We can get in through the top. Give me more data. And by data, I mean it magically transforms into fucking... Uh... Titanium. Fuck you, crab! Fuck off. Fuck off. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh, a battery. Integrating new PDA data. Why am I only now getting an achievement for finding the Debussy habitat when I've already, like, gone to the upper areas? Fuck you, crab. Oh, I could have just gone in through this... Fuck me, dude. Okay, how am I doing? No new updates on the uh, bacterial fuckery. Good to know. Um... How's the Debussy? Two, three, four. All right. Let's check out two. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bark Torgo has oh. disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? Oh, no rescue shit. coming, Chief. Not in Paul time. Not staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Damn. 
That is pretty brutal. Paul's gonna breathe the death of them. I feel like Aftermath might be a fight between Paul and Bart. I feel like Bart's going, like one of them's gonna accidentally kill the other. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food Oof. washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. Oh, Margaret's gonna I know fuck enough not Paula. to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Oh. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. Where's Bart? I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Ooh, I wonder if they discovered an alien facility. If they discovered the alien, uh, 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 gate. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. Oh, he's there's Bart. Scratched. Okay, so he's still alive. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be aliens. <laughs> Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Interesting. Um, what is that PDA? Going to the ocean. The Debussy habitat is 250 meteors under the ocean. Well... That doesn't seem to have worked out very well for them. I'm also questioning... Oh, you can't swim down 250 meters. You need a submarine. Don't worry. I got ideas. Ideas that just might work. Yep. Fire up the pipe machine. We're going to be smoking. Hmm. I feel like I've made it all the way back around to the other side. Where's S SG2? No, SG2 is right there. Hmm. Maybe I'll get to the top of this mountain and look down and see if anything jumps out. I didn't really look around when I got to the top. I just immediately ran in, grabbed stuff. Actually, yeah, let me climb all the way to the top. Yeah! Delicious, delicious render distance. Yeah, good shit. Uh-huh. Yep, pretty amazing. Hmm. So if SG2 is down there, it would maybe be over there for another gate? Hmm. Or down here. I really feel like, like there's not going to be a second gate. Excuse me. Oh, just break a couple ankles. I got two. Well, spare one more butt pack. Don't need them both. Dead weight. And just lop them off, you know? Let her rip. Oh, that was just cave. Okay. No, 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 no. Haha, -ha, we made the jump. That would have been awkward if I had fallen to my death right there. Huh? 
Hmm. Says the serpent. <laughs> new voxel. Nope. I already have a voxel shrub. Ironically, not made with voxels at all. Not great is whatever it is. Survivalist who wants to go to the water. Paul. Bart wants to go to the ocean and is curious about the world. <gasps> yeah, I kind of got that vibe. I mean, Margaret seems like a very practical person. Paul is... Too capitalism pilled, he's lost. Um, dude's gonna die. Paul is gonna get shit done. I feel like Paul and Margaret would get on like a house fire. Paul just seems like a dick. That's why I think uh, he may die and or get killed just being a general chuckle like I don't like how like when I picked up uh, the diamond my first diamond it was like by the way everything you've been collecting is officially owned by the corporation and uh, you're being put in debt for everything you grab and use by the way your current debt is three million that's like mm, no no nah, fuck you no nah, fuck you I'm good All right. It would be faster to just, I think it'd be just faster to just go ahead and swim home. So let me save here. We'll go ahead and drink some water. And this Marbellon. We want to get some bladder fish and some fish to eat on our way over. Am I sure about that? I mean, that's my thoughts off the cuff. And I don't even have a cuff. Looks like it's on my way to 700, 600. It's actually fairly close to my place. Interesting. Sadly, the company pretty much owns the universe, so trying to escape your debt will be a fate with that. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I have a planetary defense cannon. So they can fuck off. Can I operate the planetary defense cannon? Um, uh, no. But I mean, like, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, is the habitat? Ooh, ooh, I gotta check. I gotta check. Hold on. Hold on. And I have a laser cutter now, so I can get into facilities. Fuck off, fucking kelp forest. I hate kelp forest. I hate the kelp forest. All right, we need food. We need bladder fish for oxygen. Grab one of you. Grab one of you. Grab one of you. We're way more than enough good on food but we do need the water 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 everywhere the only drop to drink is the drop we squeeze out of these fish pulp them mash them put them in a fabricator the bladder fish will fill your bladder so fish for the bladder fish and fill that cup up with some fresh squeezed water from the bladder fish. Straight from its bladder. Go fish!
apa-apa Hey, hi for a win I'll go and buy a ziggurat Enjoy your time Okay, so Fuck off, Fabricator. Alright, we need to shove the peeper in our stomach. How much overfood can we get? It seems just one overfood, like, over max. Alright, so, make a little bit more water. I'm gonna say hi, and hopefully I have a very good night. If you have any questions, yeah, now I'm playing blind, so definitely, please, no spoilers or direction. I want to discover things on my own for favor and make my own mistakes and make my own solutions. I'll certainly let people know if I would like some help. Changing batteries is unnecessarily obtuse. I do not like that. All right, now that battery is low. How do I... Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Now we're in the spooky ocean. Ooh, I'm haunting you, child. Are you having a spooky time this month? Alright, I don't think we need three fucking purple tablets. So we'll just put some in here. I do want to keep an ion cube and a purple tablet just in case I run across places that need them. Um, we have a bit of lead. We have a bit of copper ore. So let's make pipes. Is that is that one titan two titanium for five pipes? Gotcha. That's right. Get spooked. All right, we can make ten more pipes, and we'll store everything else in the flotilla for now. Uh, we'll put. Eh, we'll keep the first aid kit, actually. Lithium. I know we had a better spot for lead. Where was I putting my lead? Oh, there we go. Um, I'm suddenly trying to remember there was something I wanted to ask since there's some more... Oh, right. So I think one of the complaints I do have that I wasn't able to fix was the music in that the music's, like, not staying playing. Are y'all, is anyone aware of any uh, way to make the music actually play more consistently? Or if there is a mod that does it? I thought I found a mod that would make it not just be so n no music-y but it seemed to actually just make things worse. <laughs> I kinda like the music and would like to listen to it, especially while I'm underwater. It seems like I have to sit underwater for a good like five minutes or so before the music will really stay. No way to make the music play consistently. There may be a mod that's meant for ambient singers. Blood and ashes. So many water lockers? Yeah! And also, welcome to my pipe! Um, it started out pretty good, but things have been taking a turn for the squiggle. Not to worry, we're about to make it worse. Thank <laughs> you. 
Buddy. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, pipe. I believe in you, pipe. Follow me, the servant. Nope, I saw the pipes. Oh, there we go. I feel like it was bugging out. As if it hasn't been bugging out for a while now. Alright, we can make it, but I might as well use up the rest of the pipes in my inventory. And it really does not like being in the wall. So that was a big mistake, but Sith happens. Alright, we're going to have to undo that, see if we can get it further away maybe. I mean, I want the me I want Subnautica's music to play, and it just refuses to consist like stay on. That's my complaint. Still, I think I saw a mod about like putting your own music, so I might just like rip, find a way to get the Subnautica music, and then just see if that will let it play 100% of the time. Seems like it might work as a workaround. Seems like I have to be at a certain distance and it will let me place the pipe. Ooh, that went silly. Silly. Yeah, I feel like there is a zone stopping it because it's really hugging this wall. It really wants me to keep building the pipe down the wall more than anything. Um... <laughs> Looks like we have a pipe the long way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's what the pipe's supposed to do. We're gonna leave that one. We're gonna leave that pipe. That pipe can stay. All right, I think we might have hit the maximum. We might have hit the maximum. So we're going to oxygenate, and we are going to go down to that shelter. <laughs> Currently playing hardcore mode. We're also doing a challenge, which we called Aussie Challenge so far. We've got two Leviathan I don't know what that means. I'm not too far into the game. Yeah, I've already been in this habitat. But maybe... I can do a bit more exploration. I did miss something. Hold on. Let's get our laser cutter out. We might be able to use that for something. Am I getting in here? No. No, that didn't do anything. Uh. I don't think we went up here. Yes, we did, because I scanned that. But if we didn't go back down over here, it's just the other side. It's over here. Ow. Jellyfish bullshit. Alright, let's go oxygenate really quick. Hello, Quad Snake. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah, I get that feeling, buddy. Hey! Fuck off! Don't be crabby elsewhere! Fuck off! Fuck off! Go away! Go away! So rude. 
That's the first time they've actually chased me. Yeah, I've been in that area before. Sir, go back to your mushroom, all right? We'll contact you if we need any further information. This is like the area I went to pretty much at the start of the stream, which wasn't very efficient. Well, let me tell you. I feel like there's got to be something I haven't gotten to in this habitat. I feel like there should be, like, another PDA. Like, yeah, I was able to scan a few things, but... Yeah, see, I don't think I went into this room. Alright, does the double bed come with the starfish? Blueprint acquired. Ooh, another USB. Ultra high capacity tank. Oh fuck yeah. Oh fuck. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through Ow. the hull. Ow. Water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! Hmm. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. <laughs> Your authority stopped at sea level. Fucking nice. You fucking tell him. Fuck off, pal. Um, I actually. Ooh, I don't think we've heard this song before. Don't do this to me. Thank you. I think it'd be nice to have like a, a midway refueling. All right, did that have um? All right, so <laughs> fuck off, biter. Okay, so the other deep sea one that's two hundred meters down was there, life pod 12. Cut snakes are very tutorial, like those stalkers, they are neutral until you trespass in their territory. I don't know, I've gone into their homes, I'm pretty sure I have one of their eggs. Okay, uh, how am I on food? I'm feeling a bit peckish, so let me pick a pied pe peeper. Pied peeper picked a pile of pumpkin peeper picks. I lost the thread. Hmm, my majestic flotilla. They keep me safe. An impenetrable wall against the barbaric underwater denizens. We tried the air bladder. No. Keep actually forgetting to make that. So let me, before I forget, what do I need for the air bladder? A bladder fish. Good. I need a few bladder fish anyway. Or rather, yeah, I could use a few bladder fish. I need to hydrate before I dehydrate. Um, bladder fish, bladder fish, oh, bladder, 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 bladder fish. Ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. Got you in my grip, floaty boy. Squeeze you into water or take your air. Either way, you're useful. I will not be letting you go. 
Unlike our hoverfish, I don't believe I've eaten a single hoverfish. They are too amazing. Waiting for it. Kas Kasara. Oh, oh no. Oh no, your water is breaking. Oh, that's that's fine. Like we're already underwater, so it'll just, it'll just like clean itself. It's actually it works out pretty well for you. Welcome on by nine. Holy. Oh, I cannot believe it has been nine months. I cannot believe, and I can't believe you suffered for that long. I'm pretty, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, Kazara. You, uh, it's, it's never necessary, but it's certainly noticed and appreciated. And your art streams are always fun to hang out in, because you're always doing some really interesting uh, studies and is that gonna yep that's gonna it's gonna all right all right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do your thing do your thing and explode uh-huh yep 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 uh-huh give me your give me your shade sulfur thanks buddy pal old friend what game will I play after Subnautica Tough decision. Um, I'm trying, since I'm kind of done-ish with horror games, I'm gonna try and shift back to more thinky stuff on Fridays. So I've been looking at a few games. I have a couple I've kind of got lined up. Saturday, I'm still working through Valkyrie Profile. That's gonna be good for a while. And then Mondays, I am almost done with the Battle Network Legacy Collection. Um, I will be starting six on Monday. That's gonna feel weird. I don't think I play Battle Network six. I think I only played three, four, maybe five. Like some elements of Battle Network five felt familiar, but I just did not remember them at all. Not like a below zero. Oh, so is is. Is Below Zero, like, uh, 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 a sequel, or is it just additional content? Like, I know when I played Horizon Zero Dawn, it had a DLC, but it was more like side-grade content. That, like, high-level, uh, uh, stuff that's, like, not before the end of the game. So I didn't really inter- I didn't really- interact with it because it really wasn't relevant. Um, let's change the battery on this dude. Cool. And we can make more batteries if I feel like getting copper and I don't. Um, hold on, we got a blueprint of something, and I'm suddenly trying to remember what it was. I bet it's a blueprint that we don't have the whole thing for, because that's what this game likes doing. Likes giving us stuff, likes telling us there's cool stuff that exists, and then we can't make it, make it be angry. No, I need a modification station. All right, so we're still limited by the lack of a base. Bit of both is originally gonna be a DLC, but they decided to release it as its own thing. Interesting. I'll have to think about it when I get closer. I feel like there's quite a bit in this game still before I even consider um, that. All right, so I think I made two air bladders just to have one because I did want to have an emergency rip cord. All right, we have the dead battery I need to store away. Now we need to prepare for the other place. I need titanium. Noted. So, let's cook. Let's hydrate. And go grab our titanium right fast. Probably going to... So, what was that? Probably gonna need like 10 titanium. So we need the flotation device. Probably about. Uh, actually, I think maybe 20 pi. I, I think it depends if it's in a cave complex again. 
Um, but I don't think so. I feel like there's going to be in a cave simple uh, for us to get to. <laughs> so let's... Oh, perfect. We'll get uh, some of our titanium from there. Um, we'll leave that as titanium storage. We'll come over here and take this titanium too because I can. This, dead batteries. Um, let's grab a Fimch to eat or you are a manta ray and I can't grab you. That's a random peeper, we take those. And I would like to get over full, so let's get a second fish. We can eat the boomerang and the peeper to overfill. And that should be good on food for a minute. Exactly, Kasawa, exactly. Yeah, the, 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 down, the upside to being, you know, in a small form that's easily fit inside an aquarium is that eating grubs is within my capability. Um, they are very, you know, size appropriate food things for me right now. And I think that's pretty neat. It makes it a lot easier for me. Fabrication. So cool. Perfect. And our inventory is stuffed to the brim. Okay, so let's take this. It'll be our emergency. And we need to save, because it's been a minute since I saved. Where's your poop going in the aquarium? Don't worry about it. It's cool until it makes an unwanted pipe bomb. No! No, dude! Not the pipe bombs! My fabricator would never do that! It, it specifically cannot make weapons after the rebellion on that one planet. Um, that's why I only have a knife. I think my headcanon was that the weapons that it could fabricate were still, like... We're not talking, like, last guns and plasma rifles. I'm thinking, like, manufacture for me. 100 halberds and a thousand shields. And then there's like a, an armed rebellion. <laughs> Just because I think that's funnier. <laughs> but hey, dude, I hope you're having a good evening. Or, fuck, it's probably morning by now. Holy shit. I will say, this game has got the uh, blink and, oh fuck, five hours have passed situ si situation. So, you know, it's got that going for it. I will say, even though we have a compass, I would like a depth meter. Nope, it's evening. All right, all right, good. Nearing nine. Oh, it's nearing 2100? I'm looking at you like a bug. Me and Baldur's Gate. I tried Baldur's Gate, but it's definitely a game I can't really play solo. I got like a little bit into it, and then it's just like, I need... <laughs> What the fuck is hurting me? Nani the fuck? Oh, mother... Fuck you! Fucking... Tiger coral piece of shit. Close to seven hours in and not a single basket weed. Look! Boba Newt, you gotta cut me some slack, all right? Underwater basket weaving is a very complex and intricate process. You know, there's a reason I don't have an honorary basket weaving degree. I only have an honorary nuclear engineer degree. Like, come on, it's like right up there with rocket surgery on the things that are difficult to do. Fucking toy of plants, shooting me like a pin cushion. Thankfully, we don't gotta worry about our wetsuits integrity. Imagine if we's got a diving bell and our diving bell could be breached. That would make the big daddy the dead daddy. Fuck me, fuck me. This is 
close to the back of the ship. This is where I keep. I have seen the Chucklefuck McGee thrice. I would like to avoid Chucklefuck McGee because Chucklefuck McGee makes me squeam. Makes me scream. Fucking. Fucking swings right at me. You just imagine being told to make a basket and you, and you end up with another word. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. So therefore, it's useless. All right, we are almost directly overhead. He is a rude chuckle. Yeah, I know! Remember that time he stuck up right behind us and took a bite? Like, yikes! I need all shit in the britches. Hope he enjoys that extra fucking chocolate on that snack. Wee-wee! All right. Time to begin Operation Detective YOLO. Activity and several unusual Electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. Mm, nah, I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna exercise any caution at all. In fact, I'm gonna do the opposite of exercise and caution. I'm gonna exercise insanity. Um. Why is it letting me do this? Why is it letting me do this? Why are you doing this, game? Game? I swear the UI for laying pipe was working so much better the first day I played. Because, like, it would show me, like, the direction the pipe was gonna go. Wrong click. And then I could just press the button to lay it. But now, it's just not doing that. It's just press the button and pray we fucking send it in the right direction, buddy. Get fucked. Hope you like laying pipe, because you're going to be fucking laying it all sorts of weird directions. Not even a licensed plumber. Yar fuck. Yar fuck. All right, we're going to do the, we're going to try the backward strategy that makes it all squiggly. Drecky, what? I'm just telling it, I'm just calling it like it is. Might even get another pipe the long way, you know? I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, the Chucklefuck McGee, like, sees me doing this and is too confused to do anything to me. It's just like, the, f the fuck is he doing? Oh, I don't need to do anything about this. This problem's gonna solve itself. Just like backing right up and like full acne style, like Wiley e. Coyote is trying to lay out some tracks to bait the Roadrunner, and like he walks backwards into an act into the active volcano kind of shit. I cannot see, and this is why I didn't want to go backwards. Do this, I want to go straight down. All right, so let's oxygenate. <laughs> I don't have anything scanned, and you look pretty. Scanner loaded, baby. It's 250 down. Yeah, we can make it the rest of the way. You need to keep an eye on how much oxygen it takes to go straight down. Looks like it's taking about one quarter. Or about one quarter. So we're gonna smash and grab. Yay. Check for things to scan. Look around in the immediate area for things to scan and or grab. Integrating new PDA data. Um, all right, I'm seeing shit to scan, but we are gonna swim up first. 
I don't know what's going on. We're ignoring what's down there, and this is fucking terrifying. Oh god, where's my pipe? I should have dropped the bacon. I should have dropped the- ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck me. Hold on. Fuck! Standing up. Oh, blood and ashes. That's probably the cool thing I saw at a distance. It's like, oh, I want to scan that. And then I looked away from it when I uh, was trying to beeline for the down escape pod. Oh, blood and ashes. I can only imagine if I got jump scared that bad while I was in my chair. Because that was bad enough. We, we've... We've been snuck up on like three or four times tonight and just brutalized me. Thanks for the head pad. I, I needed that. Fuck. Ugh, all right. It's fucking off. Um, we need to go up. And I need to find my pipe. That I did not put. There it is. Somewhere in this direction, I think. There it is. Okay. Um, let's save. Let's put the bacon out. Too spoopy for me. Alright, I do want to go down and do a bit of scanning on some of the stuff I saw. Like the zappy thing. What is that? Wow! So cool! It's gonna electrocute me! Ah! Gee, I wonder if this is a predator! Peel. Interesting. Why do I have to be like looking at its face to scan? I don't like that. There we go. Perfect. Let me get some of these things. Nice. We got one third. We will go up. Sure, there's nothing else down here. Creature eggs, yoink. Going into the collection. I'm not sure if those are also boomerang fish or if they are a deep sea variant. I think I'll oxygenate and do one last scan dive and then we'll pack everything up and get the fuck out of this space. No reason to let a perfectly good bacon and flotation apparatus go to waste. Thirty seconds. I think we lost a little bit of health. Hmm. Like other than when we got uh, chewed on. They see me swimming down into the dark depths. The wide open ocean. Are you... You're different. What are you? You're like a mega sand shark. 
bone shark. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. All right, you're cool. Anyway, oh, oh, it's nighttime. Oh, I hate that. I kind of like it because of the bioluminescence, but I also hate it. It's, 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 you know, it's a mixed bag. Alright, we're doing okay. We still have a good bit of health. I don't give a fuck about salt. Stop giving me salt. Large bulb bush. Alright, can I stab it? I can stab it. Ooh, I can eat it. Let me get a small one. Pygmy. Cool. You get like one of all. Alright, let's get the fuck out of uh, too spoopy. Oh boy, an eye eye. Aye aye, Captain. Thirty seconds. I'm fine. I just got fifty meters to go. We just like latch onto this pipe. <laughs> Alright, we'll eat two of them. We'll keep one of them just in case I can, like, cultivate it. We'll throw it in the uh, pile of plants. Need to clear some inventory space. Uh, the I.I. will also go into our stomach because I can. Alright. Let's go ahead and pack things up, baby. Hubris. Okay. Let me pack all this up, and we'll check that out in a second. I don't know why it makes sniffing noises. How is everything full? I'll just chug this water, I guess. Alright, we're gonna save the fuck. Right meow. <laughs>